Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday's TNT as we whip around Thailand with some of the main news stories. Now, uh, the other day we mentioned this uh, p p potential territorial dispute between Thailand and Cambodia over Koh Kut, uh, which is uh, off the Trap province. Now, uh, it's started off as a bit of a political rumour, uh, trying to stir up a bit of trouble, but it's gained traction and even started getting uh, Cambodian politicians involved. Kaosot English is saying that uh, political conflicts among Thai rivals have led to the Kokud issue being raised to attack the government and the Per Thai Party leadership again, particularly regarding the 2001 MOU, a Memorandum of Understanding, during the Taksin Shinawat government, which claims that Thailand might lose Kokud in the Trat province to Cambodia. So, oh, this might happen, or that might happen, political intrigue. But the problem is it's starting to affect bookings on the island. They reported on their Facebook page, booking by Thai tourists at Kokwood's resort in Trat have fallen by 30% as a result of rumours spread online. And the rumour being that the Petong Shinawat government would cede the island to Cambodia as a favour to the former Cambodian uh, PM, who had an excellent personal relationship with uh, ex-convict come ex-premier Taksin Shinawat. The government's repeatedly denied the allegation. But the Trat Tourism Business Association said foreign tourists should continue with their bookings as normal. So if you're heading to Kokud, beautiful island by the way, off the Trat province, and don't worry if the booking's tomorrow, next week, next year, Kokud will still be part of Thailand. Now, a bit of confusion also over gambling, some changes to some of the gambling rules. Seems these people were at least slightly confused. Bangkok police bust poker game, arrest 16 foreigners. 14 Chinese and two Taiwanese caught playing cards for money in a former restaurant after dissatisfied Thais file complaint. Well, the good thing here, at least the Chinese and the Taiwanese are talking. Apparently they were playing poker for money inside what was once a restaurant in Bangkok's Wang Tong Lang district. And the Thais who had complained had previously tried to enter the restaurant, uh, but were prohibited from doing so. So they decided to alert the police that something illegal might be going on there. And the alleged organiser of the gambling was identified as a Chinese citizen, 44 years old, and he'd rented the building and then used social media to advertise the gambling soirees. So if you are operating a gambling den, I think the bottom line here is don't advertise it on social media as we head to Patia and uh, two stories about foreigners behaving badly against their own countrymen or in this case country women, a headline Russian woman on the run after allegedly stabbing another Russian woman in Patia due to jealousy. This reported by thepatianews.com and it happened at the Patia Park Night Plaza and vendors and tourists were in shock following the frightening incident. Friends and bystanders helped the injured victim, later identified as Ms Natalia, a Russian national approximately 45 to 50 years old. She sustained two stab wounds to her left abdomen and uh, two severe wounds to her left arm. And the suspect had fled before the police arrived. A pool of blood and a 30 centimetre knife were found at the scene. So an eyewitness was a 33-year-old Thai man. He said the suspect was a Russian woman wearing a white sleeveless shirt and shorts. She had a verbal altercation with the victim who was sitting with four others eating and drinking. Uh, but the suspect approached the group as if to greet them, but an argument suddenly broke out. The suspect then left, but 10 minutes later, she returned. And the suspect unexpectedly pulled out a knife and reportedly stabbed her several times, causing her to collapse in a pool of blood. And the victim's male companion reportedly her husband tried to stop the two, but the situation escalated quickly. And police have identified the suspect and her residence and are currently tracking her down by reviewing CCTV footage. And story about foreigners behaving badly against their own countrymen too. Brawl breaks out between Uzbek rival groups on Patia Beach. This reported in cowsodenglish.com. The local police responded to a late night disturbance on Patia Beach Road after a confrontation between two groups of Uzbek nationals erupted into violence. And this happened yesterday morning around 12.10 a.m. on Patia Beach Road. The two rival groups engaged in a heated dispute. 
And according to a 42-year-old beach vendor who witnessed and recorded the incident, the conflict stemmed from territorial disputes over operating areas along the beach. Territory? Selling what? He said a new group of Uzbek women had encroached on an established group's territory, leading to tensions. Uh, they were providing companionship services? The situation escalated when male associates of one group arrived to mediate, but negotiations quickly broke down. And during the police intervention, one foreign male suspect resisted arrest, requiring officers to physically restrain and handcuff him. The incident highlights, it says, growing tensions over territorial disputes in the popular tourist destination, as local authorities continue efforts to maintain order in the beach area. So, Cowsled English being very cagey there, territory over what? Back to Bangkok now, and some more raids. Bangkok Post reporting over 94,000 illegal Chinese products seized in Bangkok, and the Food and Drug Administration have seized more than 94,000 illegal Chinese products from dozens of shops in Bangkok over the past three months and police raided 47 Chinese supermarkets in Bangkok and seized, well, 94,500 illegal Chinese consumer products, and the goods were in breach of labelling regulations. And failure to show Thai language labels on food products carries a fine of up to 30,000 baht. So there's a rule I didn't know. And while the seller of cosmetics without a Thai label are liable to a fine of up to 10,000 baht and or a jail term of one month. So I imagine in uh, popular Chinese expat areas, there's an area just north of where I used to live in Asok Road. Uh, I think it's called Huai Kuang. Uh, now it's got a lot of Chinese supermarkets with a lot of Chinese products. But apparently, legally to sell them, you've got to have labels with Thai language. All right, let's have a quick talk about uh, some help from the government to all those uh, flood victims up north. The Thai cabinet approves 2.5 billion baht to help flood affected farmers. This story reported in Thai PBS. The, uh, the cabinet approved a budget of 2.5 billion baht from the central fund to help farmers affected by this year's flooding. 1.5 billion will be used to fund five projects aimed at improving the productivity of rice farmers, and the rest will be used to buy pesticides and rice seeds for farmers. A spokesperson for the PM's office said that the financial assistance is to enable farmers to resume cultivation quickly so they can earn some uh, money from early harvest and recover from the flood-related losses. So the government reacting quickly for farmers up north affected by those floods. Now, following the uh, US election and the likely outcome of uh, a president-elect Trump, there has been a very quick bit of reaction from the Thai Chamber of Commerce. Let's check that. The Thai private sector worries about the new US administration trade barriers, again reported in Thai PBS World. And with Donald Trump likely to win, the Thai private sector grouping known as the Joint Standing Committee on Commerce, Industry and Banking is closely monitoring the presidential election. And the results could have significant impacts on the Thai economy, especially on exports of goods on which Thailand enjoys a trade surplus with the US. This could include things like hard disk drives, semiconductors, car tyres, air conditioners and solar cells, according to the President of the Thai Chamber of Commerce. And he said that the Thai government and private sector must take precautionary measures to cope with the possibility of a new round of trade barriers, such as US tariffs on imports from Thailand. So these expected new tariffs on uh, imports into the US will be closely monitored by Thailand uh, as we see if it will have any effect in the long run. And just very quickly, uh, another quick measure of what happened yesterday, we go to the, uh, the Thai baht versus the US dollar. And we start first with a whole year of trading between the US dollar and the Thai baht, the yellow line showing the, uh, the lowest that the US dollar has been against the Thai baht over the last year. And uh, well, since really September this year, it's uh, slowly been climbing against the Thai baht again. But just checking the last day, uh, midnight yesterday is uh, circled in yellow and it sprung up uh, the US dollar against the Thai baht uh, in red 
is what it was well around about uh, six o'clock last night. So likely means nothing in the short term, but uh, some quick reactions to the election of uh, President-elect Donald Trump. And with that, we say thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. We look forward to your comments and we'll see you tomorrow.